I'm supposed to cut it out from the back, but I feel like cutting it out from the front will be easier. Yeah, cutting it from the front will be easier. So be very careful. Ouch. Hey guys, so it's been uh, it's been a while. I have not been able to record for around two weeks now, and uh, I really have no excuse. But sometimes it's it's really hard to record, and uh, it's okay to take it easy on yourself. It's okay to take some time off if you are out of ideas. I mean, it's okay. Yeah. So today we are going to do, I'm going to DIY a mannequin head and I don't know how it's going to look like but if you are watching this video that means that, uh, yeah, that if you're watching this video that means that it was successful. Yeah, so let's get right into the video. So first you're going to need some cello tape, the big one. I prefer the big one because it's going to be easier for you to cover much space and then you're going to need a cling film or some of you call it paper foil but I believe it's cling film this one it, it goes for 100 bob in most supermarkets and uh, the cello tape I bought it for 50 shillings and then you're going to need a pair of scissors and of course your head you're going to use your head and uh, some thread thread and uh, a needle and also you're going to need some fabric which I'm going to show you later oh and also uh, you're going to need fiber yeah this fiber or you can use uh, you can use uh, old pieces of clothes to fill in the, the head I'll show you later but I'm going to use this fiber this is some old fiber I replaced my fibers from my pillows I DIY'd it but I decided that I'm not going to throw away this old fiber I'm going to use it for something else and yeah here here it goes I'm going to use it on this mannequin and I will still have some leftover so let's start so fast your head needs to be really really flat okay so I've covered mine with this uh, wig cap then I'm just going to go in with a cling film and cover my head with it first so I'm going to leave the the eyes and the nose and I'm going to be looking at myself uh, on the mirror so yeah and I prefer the cling film because it's also easier for you to do it like this because it it tends to really clean easily. So I'm going to toboa here for the nose so that I can breathe. In my eyes too because I need to see you guys yeah I, this idea is not originally mine. I saw, I was, I left my mannequin back in Kisumu. So I decided to go to YouTube and look for a hack to make a mannequin head.
make a mannequin head so I can do my wigs. For those who don't know, I have a wig business which is just starting. And uh, yeah, we I don't know how long this quarantine thing is going to take. So I really need to do my... I really need to grow my business. I really really do I really need to grow my business and uh, yeah I don't want to be idle and I don't have money at the moment to buy a mannequin head you know so let's see how this turns out so now I'm going to cover my mouth so I won't be talking <laughs> No. No. No, 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 no. Then I'm going to go in with your tip. This one? Oh, sorry. I'm, I'm shaky. Okay. So now I'm going to cover the rest of my head with tip. Make sure all areas are covered. So I'm going to be looking at my mirror as I do this. As I do this. And guys, what do you think about my new background? New background. Do you like it? If you do, leave a comment down below. It was a DIY. I lost some of the footage, but I, I'll still be able to upload and show you how I did it. It was so easy. So basically what I did, I just used the uh, insulating tape, the one they use uh, on electrical items and projects. That's what I used. So I'm covering the whole of my head with cello tape actually now this is it's like we are creating a mold we are creating a mold for the mannequin first and then we can make the mannequin so ensure all areas are covered properly Disclaimer, this is going to feel kind of tight, but it's okay, it's okay, it's okay, it's cool. And by the way, the nails I did, uh, some of you saw, they have lasted me two weeks. Some of them have already come off. Some are still intact. For those of you who don't know, I do all my chores, so I don't expect nail extensions to last me a month, like gel polish. So you want to go back in and just touch your head and check the areas that are not covered. You will actually feel the difference in the texture. This is super easy.
feel like I need to do the neck also. So I'm going to do the neck. Going with your clean film. Because you don't want the tape to be tugging and pulling your hair. I've covered most of my head. I think you can go in with a second layer, but I feel like that won't be necessary. It's too tight, you guys. It's too tight. I'm going to do this part and, of course, leave my nose. I forgot you need a marker pen to mark your ears. So I'm just going to get one. And then mark the ears. Be right back. So we're back. We didn't get a marker pen, I got a highlighter, so I'm just going to highlight my ears. If you can't do this by yourself, you can ask for help and do the same for the other side. So now, you're going to cut this out. We've already created our mold. So you're going to cut this out. I'm supposed to cut it out from the back, but I feel like cutting it out from the front will be easier. Yeah, cutting it from the front will be easier. So be very careful. Ouch. Be very careful. Take your time. And I'm going to do here. So I think let's cover this up first. So 
So let's take off the mold. Uh, here's our mold. Now, this is how it looks. Sorry. I'll just adjust myself. This is how the mold looks already. This is how it looks. So we are going to cover up these areas with tape. Okay. And because we cut it on, on a straight line, it's not going to be hard to do that. So I'm just going to cut this. We are going to tape this together together okay now you want to ensure that you have checked your mannequin head in any areas that you didn't cover and then go back in with your tape so i've already done that for mine this is what it looks like this is the back remember we drew uh, the ears yeah so now i'm going to fill this in with fiber so you can fill this in with fiber or uh, or uh, uh, old pieces of clothes that you have okay so i'm going to do that and then come back so now we are going to create a base for the mannequin head so i'm going in with an old carton box for tea you can use anything to build it or uh, like yeah anything magazine just to create a base so i'm going to wrap this around So now you guys, uh, the base of the head that I'm creating is actually my own, my own uh, creation. But the mannequin head is not my original idea how to make the mold and stuff it up. No, it's not my idea. It's someone else's idea. But the base was my idea. In the video, the guy was using a plastic container as a stand but i don't seem to find any around my house to use as a as the base so i'm just going to make this and then i'm going to add stable carton around it later but for now let's make this and see if it can stand on its own yeah So ensure you put the cello tape tightly so that you can create something stable because you know this is fiber by tends to puff back up so that is what i'm doing and you can see this is how it looks like i'm just going to cut off the excess and then just mold it with cello tape all the way around If you, if you want you can leave it like this or you can put uh, a stocking on top of it a stocking would be easier but I don't have a stocking so I'm going to use an old top that I have to cover it so that it can look a bit decent you know this is the old top that I'm going to use so I'm just going to cut this I'm just going to cut this one first using my pair of scissors and then sew it using my hand so guys i am back i have already sewn my cloth so this is what i did it is not perfect but this is what i did i made it a little bit smaller because my material is stretchy so uh, this is what i have uh, 
I believe this is what is called a uh, back stitch. Yeah. This is what I have. Yes. So I'm just going to turn it inside out and uh, fit it on my mannequin head and see how this is going to look like. So I'm just going to do these areas over here. I'm just going to make them curved. To make them curve a little bit and then we're going to come back. Okay, so I went back and did this to both sides. I went and did this to both sides. So I'm going to put it on the mannequin head and then it will be ready for use. That's how you make a mannequin head. That's how you do this. That's how you do this. is how it's done. 